Hey, what's up everybody? So one of my favorite sneakers or models that I picked up this year for the first time are the New Balance 580. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the white and green colorway, which in my opinion, one of the best GR colorways to release this year for the 580. And it's also a great sneaker now for the summertime and the colorway is definitely perfect for that as well. So let me show you guys a quick look and let's get into this review. So these retail for $140. Most 580s retail around that price range, $130, $140. I was able to grab these on sale a few weeks ago. Grab these for like $70, which you really can't beat that. This colorway dropped back in April of 2023. You can't find them on New Balance, but some other retailers you'd be able to grab these. I saw these on the Todd Snyder website if you're interested in this colorway. So the 580 is a retro sneaker for New Balance, originally releasing back in the mid 90s. The sneaker really didn't do great at the time, but the sneaker became very very popular within the Japanese sneaker community. And now in 2023, New Balance has been pumping a lot of 580 colorways, which I believe in general has been accepted very well within the whole New Balance community. The sneaker was actually intended to be a trail running sneaker. That's why the style code for these is MT, which means men's trail. All right, so getting into the details of the shoe, you have a mostly white sneaker here. You have this really awesome forest green color throughout the upper of the shoe, one of my favorite features of this colorway. And then you also have this pre age look throughout the midsole and outsole of the shoe. The midsole here is mostly in this cream color, which gives it that vintage vibe. And then you also have a pre age outsole here, which is mostly in black. As far as the materials go, starting with the inside part of the shoe, you have a nice soft sock lining here in this off-white color. The insoles here are also in a light cream color. And then you have the New Balance branding in that green color on the back. The front part of the tongue is mostly made out of a new bug material. And you do have some New Balance and 580 branding embroidered and a white stitching. These come out of the box with a pair of off-white laces and they only come with one pair. As you come down to the toe box area, here's where you're gonna find most of the mesh material. The underlays on these are made out of mesh and then the upper layers of the shoe are made out of a white leather material. On the toe box area, you do have some small panels of that new bug material in the green color. Overall, the leather material on these is pretty decent in my opinion. It doesn't feel or look plasticky when you touch these. On the lateral and medial side on the quarter panels, you will find the classic end logo here. Both end logos are reflective and underneath the reflective material, the end logo sits on top of a new bug material. One thing that you notice with the 580s around the ankle collar area is this plastic gray material. And that's just to give your ankle area or your foot in general some additional support. All the way to the back of the you above the heel counter around the ankle collar area you will find some additional new bug material in the green color and then you'll have the new balance branding embroidered in black switching over to the midsole area like i said earlier you have this really awesome vintage looking midsole here that gives the shoe that pop in my opinion just makes the colorway look so much nicer with this cream midsole the midsole and cushioning system here does have quite a few features you do have absorbed throughout the midsole here you also have c cap and you also have roll bar which is like this plastic material that you'll find on both lateral and medial side that's just gonna give you some additional support when you're rocking these switching over to the outsole you have this pre-aged black rubber outsole i really do like the design on this outsole in my opinion it looks fun and interesting and then you also have new balance branding there around the middle part and as you can see here all the way to the back of the outsole you'll find the roll bar feature as well the shoes come in the classic new balance gr box and these shoes are made in china and there you have the official tag in sku when it comes to sizing with the 580 i actually go a half a size down from most of my non-made in USA New Balance sneakers. So some of my non-made in USA New Balance sneakers are like the 2002R, 1906R for example. And with those I go with a size 10. With the 580, these are my second pair of 580s and I've gone with a nine and a half and in my opinion, they fit perfect. I also rock a nine and a half on my Made in USA New Balance sneakers, like a 990 V3, 990 V2, 990 V1, etc. As far as comfort with the 580, in my opinion, these actually feel great. You really have a nice balance on this mid, so it's not too soft, not too bouncy, but it's also not too firm either. They really did a good job with this midsole and it does feel solid 
feel sturdy. And you also have this roll bar feature here that's just gonna give you more stability so that your shoes are not kind of going side to side. It's basically a hard plastic material that go from the lateral side over to the medial side. So that's just an extra feature that you're gonna get on this 580. All right, so my final thoughts on these 580s in the white and green colorway. First of all, this colorway, guys, is definitely super nice. I also slept on these when these first came out, but I'm glad I waited and I guess patience paid off for me because I was able to get these on sale. So hey, it's a win-win. But this colorway is definitely super nice. I love the dark green color. And obviously dark greens are a super popular colorway on sneaker these days. And then you also have a pre-aged look on these and I'm a sucker for that. So that was a great combination. I was like, yo, I gotta grab these and I'm glad I did. As far as the materials and quality control on these, these are a non-made in USA sneaker. So sometimes, you know, that could be hit or miss. You may not get the best materials or the best QC, but honestly, I really have no complaints with these overall. The new book on these actually feels pretty good. Not as good as a Made in USA or Made in UK sneaker, but overall is definitely fine. As far as the leather material on these, I really have no complaints either. It doesn't feel very plasticky like some other brands do when it comes to their GR and the leather material. Here, in my opinion, the leather kind of reminds me of a New Balance 550. So overall, guys, I think these are a dope pair. This colorway is obviously amazing in my opinion, and I think they're great for the spring and summer months. So right now, if you want to grab these for the summer, they will definitely be perfect. So with that being said, let me put these bad boys on and show you guys how they look on feet. so that's it for me hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the new balance 580 in the white and green colorway let me know what you guys think about this colorway and also what do you think about the 580 in general and like always guys thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers thank you feel free to like the video comment below also follow me on instagram at guy and kicks and also follow me on threads as well that's the new wave so definitely check that out as well i'll leave some links in the description below so feel free to check that out and that's it guys catch you guys in the next one peace